fucking asshole. Please don't. Oh, right in the face. Shaking, shaking. There we go. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a killer. Oh, I ain't taking that for an answer. I am not taking that for an answer. Over the desk. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please, don't hurt me. Too fucking late. Too late, man. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Oh, well. Looks like your chances just ran out, fella. Stop. Stop. I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Okay. Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to... To be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... He held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate it was an accident. accident. He, held him under the water. he just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. Whoa, what? What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. A street trash, like so many others. Oh. Who are you to decide You're a that? Disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. That's why everyone keeps saying. His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. <laughs> Anne Shepard. See that bitch? How dare you say that kid's life didn't matter. Oh well. He's having a heart attack. Nah, you can fuck off. Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! Nah, you can, you can fuck off. Fuck you, man. See you later. Nah, leave. Shelby! Come back! I fucking order you! Come back! Nope. You let that kid die and then you say it didn't matter. You deserve to die. I know that's not really my choice to make. But in this situation, that's not reality. I have that choice. And I took it. There you go. He deserved to die. We're back with Madison Page. Back with the journalist. After... Actually, we don't know. Did she escape? I assume she escaped the motel as well. And she's at the uh, geriatric ward of some hospital. 9.07am. On Friday. It's now been three days, I believe. Since Sean went disappeared. disappeared. Emergency reception. Uh, what are you? What is she here for? Oh, she's here for Anne Shepard. Oh, okay. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Okay. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Such a kind, kind nurse on reception there. <laughs> room 19, let's go. Hey. Nice place you got here. Why is there? Some flowers there. Anything else around here? This is a very clean, nice, cozy place, isn't it, really? Is room 19 here? I think it's here. Yeah, room 19, here it is. So 
So this is John Shepard's mom. And a twin brother, obviously. Hello, His twin Mrs. Brother. Shepherd. Is it time for my pills already? Nope. No, Mrs. Shepherd, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... Introduce yourself. My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. Oh. The food isn't very good, you know. Poor old woman. Uh, foster family. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepherd. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television. That was a bit sudden while asking that question. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Oh, well. Maybe in future. Uh, John's brother. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's I do not have your pills. pills. I believe I've made this quite clear. I'm not the pill person. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He's oh, she remembers a good John. little boy, you know. She remembers John. Uh, do you have a second son? Your other son, Mrs. Shepherd. John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no oh, other shit, son. Oh shit, she does not remember. I never had any children. What? You just said you like John. Oh, Jesus. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepherd. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me. Can you believe it? Oh, it's not very In nice. Ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? It's not very nice, is it? Uh, Carnaby Square. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there you a did. long time ago. You did. You used to live there. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with What's very this? little. Oh, I'm just going to sit on here, okay. They're not very secure, those tables. I wouldn't sit on one. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? No, I do not have your pills. Where are my pills? I do not have your pills. I am not a nurse. Or a pill person. Okay, we're gonna have to try another way in here because she is not responding to this. Oh, we got an origami book here. Let's see what we can make. Not that one. We got the dog here. Oh, there's the dog. That's this, the famous one. We should make the dog. That's the one that's been found like on his grave and stuff. So let's see if we can make the dog, shall we? What the hell? How am I supposed to do that? I guess a bit like that. Oh, you're allowed to let go of that one after that. Okay. And then you can go down. Okay, you only have to hold two at a time. So you're actually able to do this. Quite easily. There we go, there's the dog. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs too. Yeah, I just followed your book. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dog. Well, I gathered from all the dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. Why not? But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good story. Okay. Do we have any other origami we can make? Maybe. Um, I. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. I really don't. Um, uh, wait. Sever. The flowers? I oh, we should have a look in the drawers. Oh, we're going to look through these. Oh, we got a picture. Is that the two boys? Oh, so she does know about the other song. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. That's true. We saw that in the uh, little clip. It's in the bottom drawer. Anything nice? Nope. Nothing. She doesn't have much, does she? 
Oh, what about the flowers? There was some. There's a question about the flowers or something I could ask. Yeah, you don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepherd. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Let me guess, you like orchids. Is there something in the corridor? There was something in the corridor. It's gone. It's gone, uh, gone nick him. It's gone nick him out of the corridor. Can we do that? Oh, we can ask her. Does Mrs. Shepherd ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Uh. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepherd? No. There's nothing, really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Possibly. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. Oh. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. Okay, so we should probably you get some get flowers. To remember. Thanks for the advice. We'll see if we can, can we just nick these flowers? I think they're orchids, actually. I'm not sure, but they might be. They might be orchids. Can we just take these? I'll take one. Anyway. Don't want to take the whole lot. So give her these flowers. Look at, the, look at the wiggle Madison's got going on there. Jesus. She's wiggling like a pro. Let's go here. Put a flower in her flower jar. I mean, it's been a while. It's been a while since she got a flower. What a lovely it is orchid. An orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? <laughs> they were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. That's sad. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. Okay. Oh, shit. Apparently she knows him. Because she just reacted like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. She's gotta go. That made her want to leave in a hurry. Whatever she said, it's obviously pretty terrifying. So, Madison now knows who the, uh, who the origami killer was. Or is. So, uh, yeah. And we're back with Ethan, who's going to now do the last task, I guess. The last letters. 961 Rainbow Lane. 5.115 inches. Gone over 5 inches now. Here it is. The red... The red corridor. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Walk towards the light, my child. He's walking quite slow. I would as well, I mean. You don't know what's coming. Could be anything. Listen to his thoughts. The last origami figure. The last trial. The oh, last it's the origami same thing. figure. The last trial. Okay, so he doesn't have much to say. This looks um very white. 